See this cute little vial here? It's crack, rock cocaine, the most addictive form. You think it's the glamour drug of the 80s? Well, that's the point of this fronted little reminder. It can kill you. And if you've got to die for something, this sure as hell ain't it. When I tried it, I, oh, Lord, the whole world's broke. Everything in your whole body was like, just that, whew. I mean, your brain went all the way to zoom. And I said, the whole world's broke. It was a feeling that you would never have had in your entire life. Never. Damn. Crap. Uh, in past videos, we've discussed about the uh, drug problem, especially here in New York City. Uh, where basically we have a fentanyl problem now. And now they're mixing it with some uh tranquilizer it's a zombie drug now that just literally it just it it will basically you know rip the flesh off your body i mean i'm not kidding you if you haven't seen the videos yet go back and catch it i do show some of some of the d disgusting parts of you know what's happening what has happened in philadelphia and now it's happening in New York and about 40 other states, right? 40 other cities right now. And uh, basically, you look to the perspective that, you know, fent one thing with the, with the fentanyl is that they're mixing it with other drugs. That they're sitting there, they're putting it with the heroin, they're putting it in with the marijuana. But now, and you know, you, you, you can't believe that you would hear this drug even though it hasn't gone really gone away, but you know, for someone who grew up during its height, during the biggest problem, one of the biggest drug problems in the United States during the crack uh, period, where you know you had crack cocaine on the streets of New York, crack is back in in you know in a resurgence. You know, people say, "Well, it hasn't gone away." Is it? Yeah, but now it's being it's used again and it's being mixed with fentanyl before we read into this and i just want again i uh, want to thank those of you who have clicked on this video like subscribe share and don't forget hit that notification bell so you can receive all our notifications on all of our videos here on cutacast tv Mad man with the show uh, our latest uh endeavor with the fast five and hey looks very soon we're going to bring back the madman cafe so stay tuned for that so out of the New York Post, drug officials warn of crack cocaine resurgence in New York. Crack is back and it could mean big trouble for the Big Apple. Cops and prosecutors told the, the Post that a record influx of Colombian cocaine has spurred the return of crack. The cheap, smokable scourge that sparked a crime wave in New York in the late 1980s and 90s. We're seeing a resurgence of crack, says uh, Frank Tarantino, Tarantino, who heads the, the DEA New York's division, noting that other forms of cocaine are booming as well. The demand has never really went away, but the supply has increased exponentially. The torrent of coke has driven down street price level to levels not seen in decades, according to law enforcement officials, who say a single rock can be had for as little as five dollars turf wars are breaking out according to the city narcotics prosecutor Brid bridget Bur brennan whose office is targeting crack gangs in in the upper manhattan as they battle over the street corners just as dealers did more than 30 years ago see that is a danger in itself and we have district attorneys in new york here they're doing nothing they're doing nothing you have da bragg over there who just wants to sit there and put freaking um, his tout that he put uh, Donald Trump in jail. That's what he wants. He doesn't care about anything else. He just keeps releasing the criminals out. I mean, we have DUI situations. We got uh, drugs. We got drug dealers being released. We got people who, you know, we just had the other day, the uh, smoke shop, which we're going to be talking about in another video, uh, where there was a smoke shop shooting. And this guy was just arrested 
uh, for this shooting, and they find out that he was already uh, arrested for another shooting previously, and an, another and shooting uh, two or three police officers from two years ago. That he was out on bail for that. And his trial hasn't even started yet on that. What does that tell you that's going on in New York? Crime is out of control and the drugs is fueling the situation on there. The groups that want to control the territory uh, and they have a, to sell a lot. If someone else is encroaching on them, they're not going to be able to do that, Brennan told the Post. Historically, we've seen violence associated with them. And certainly in our current investigations, we've seen that. In addition to, to uh, crack, the city is also brimming with a regular old cocaine, uh, si once a symbol of Wall Street excess. Uh, it now sells about tw uh, $10 per twist, law enforcement sources say. These cellophane bags tied along with a string contained two, three lines worth of, make of making powder, cocaine, a cheap party drug that's nearly as inexpensive as pot. All, all wild dabblers face the po possibility of instant death from fentanyl, the potential high addicted opioid increasing found mixed into the cocaine and other illicit drugs. Investigators have busted pack packeting operations where blends are made using cocaine, fentanyl, heroin, meth, tramadol, and the sedative xylazine, also known as Trank, a newly formed notorious non-opioid that is at a potential life-threatening kick when taken with narcotics. Among these, fentanyl is the strongest drug and the cheapest to make. While fentanyl and heroin are often found in the same bricks or bundles, cocaine and fentanyl typically don't get mixed until the packaging stage. Workers turn kilos into bags for dealers and glassine elevo envelopes for individual buyers, prosecutors say. At one location near Van Cortland Park in the Bronx that was broken up in November, alleged ringleader Sam Samuel Rojo Rojas Camacho produced glass glassine stamped with his brand Skull Crusher, and on had on hand more than 50 pounds of drugs, including cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin, according to Brennan, who heads the city's Office of Special Narcotics Prosecutors. At another apartment in the Bronx, investigators found eight bags of drugs weighing three quarters of a kilo containing both fentanyl and cocaine. What we're seeing at these stash locations is where you have kilos of all kinds of different drugs in the same place. And they had a mini mill with mini equipment along the stashes, Brennan said. There is no quality control. That's where the overdoses come in. The cascade of imported cocaine stems from 50% surge in Colombian coca coca production with the crops now covering 245,000 hectares up from 160,000 hectares during the height of the cocaine craze in the 1990s officials said by 2010 Colombia's aggressive eradication program had dropped the number to about 80,000 hectares uh, but dirt but during the crackdown the Colombians physically yanked out coca plants and sprayed the fields from the air with roundup herbicide glycosine, decimating the coca, but also ex exposing farm workers to a known carci carcinogen. The, that program ended due to the cancer concerns over Roundup and because the eradication was wiping out other crops, including coffee bean, coffee plants, banana trees, and coca, and coca beans, staples of the country agro economy. All aerial fumigation ended in 2015. And the thing about it is, and there's more toward this, and there's a lot, and there's a lot of sadness in here. Um, there's even a story in here about a couple, uh, Sam Marquis and Karina Car Joy Rodriguez, uh, which they just had a baby, uh, Aria, and uh, both of them were found uh, OD'd. Uh, cocaine laced with fentanyl and they were both died left this children child without parents and there's many other stories of this nature you got and the thing about it is and they said well you know it's in the minority neighborhoods and stuff like that I said no you know one thing about you know the one thing about drugs it's not racist it doesn't care who who it affects because it is everywhere 
there, there's another story. Is there's a man sold the fa fatal dose of cocaine to Julia, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, Guadarina uh, was convicted of a narcotics conspiracy charge in Manhattan Federal Court earlier this year and faces a minimum of 25 years in prison. I mean, here's a young girl, young girl, regular, not in a, not in a minority neighborhood, and you know the guy who sold her is going to get 25 years for killing her. And then you have another gentleman who is a minority, and basically he worked for a uh, Credit Suisse uh, trading executive, Ross Mitanji, uh, was killed by the same batch that was tainted uh, tainted cocaine is the same as Julia and you know and on and on and on and of course um, if you haven't known this that Michael Michael K Williams uh, died because of a blending of cocaine and fentanyl as well so this this is something that it's all over the map when it comes to it, it doesn't matter who you are what you know what stature you work in you could be very rich you could be very poor it doesn't matter it will take your life you know and, and I, I warn people on this situation and i tell them i said you know you sitting there going out and, and applauding that they approved marijuana uh for recreational use but not knowing that you've just opened up the door you open up the door to basically uh people out there to lace the marijuana as well uh and you know with fentanyl call and now it will cause deaths as well because the thing about it is most people and this is the big thing in the, even in new york and this is why we say in new york the the uh, legal pot has failed the legal pot program is because basically People are not going to go to the store and pay over overpriced for pot. They're going to get it from the still from their local corner dealer or from the illegal store itself. It's cheaper there. They don't have to worry about anybody, you know, paying for the extra tax or anything of that nature. They buy it, leave. That's it. That's done. But that's where the problem, be, you know, continues. The illegal trade has all the issues that's killing, putting people on a on a um, mortuary slab on a daily basis stop legalizing the marijuana you want it for medical uh, medicinal yes control it that way and if you notice most of the licensing most of the licensing that's been given out in new york has either been to felons Okay, understand that? It's not that many pla places have opened up. The other half are medicinal marijuana dispensaries. Not recreational. Look it up. Look it for yourself. And most of them are upstate. New York City, I think we're up to four or five on there. Two of them are medicinal. It should be medicinal. Recreational, you know, it, it's they're never going you know it, it's you're legalizing something that's going to cause a major influx of problems and you're seeing the crime that's going on in the smoke shops as i said before you had a guy who had already shot at cops and other people shoot someone at a smoke shop that has been always an issue and now we have the nightmare of crack back heavy once again here in new york and i tell you growing up in the 80s seeing the, that shit when that hit the streets the nightmares of the people that were just you know just insane on the streets the crime that it brought into new york i mean we were just trying to clean up you know out of the 70s and the 80s it just got worse it just got really you know and they you know they try to push it so well we'll try to clean it up we'll try to clean it up you know it, it didn't take it, it took a prosecutor just to clean up new york and, it, and that was rudy giuliani and most people freaking criticize him for that and they said oh no it was the other guy no you know how many years it took to clean up new york city think about that for a minute 
and comment below. Tell me your thoughts about the situation on here. This, this is a major problem. This is a major problem. And you need, and those of you who have watched this video, please share this out there. If anything, share, this is one of the videos that you need to share. Because let me tell you, the mainstream media hasn't really picked this up much. You know, because we have, you know, the whole bullshit situation with DA Bragg. And that is one of the major issues we have here. We have district attorneys refusing to prosecute these offenses. They'll catch and release. And that is the biggest problem at all. And people say, well, you know, at least they're, you know, keeping a lot of, a lot of blacks out of jail. This is a, that's not the issue. The issue is that there are people who commit crimes. I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're Asian and all that. You go, you do the crime, you know, you're going to do the time. And this is why we need to educate our children properly. This is why we need to keep the, the freaking activism out of our schools. The kids need to read, write, learn their arithmetic as they get older, start to learn, you know, to work with their hands and all that. Fuck the colleges out there. Fuck these activist colleges that are out there going there. Take a trade school course. For those of you who are just coming out of high school, and that, and that watch this, th these videos, go and grab a tr you know a trade job. You are going to make more money at a on a trades position than you're going to do something like a YouTube channel or something like that. Because ba you know you hear the stories where all these guys making money. Not all of us are making these millions and millions of dollars, you know, doing YouTube, YouTube or Instagram or, or all these other social media platforms, uh, you know. And the education you're getting from a regular college course ain't going to get you the job that you want. Go out. You know, we need the plumbers. We need the, the, the contractors. We need, we need people to fix this country. Why not be part of it? So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.